door. Getting any gourmet today. So today I am going to show you a top secret, never been tried by me, a recipe for some smoking ditch chicken. However, I'm going to get the assistance of my sous chef here. Get in here. My sous chef, Beverly, we're going to make smoking ditch chicken. And what we gotta do first, we gotta get some of these dirty birds out of their bag. Ooh, I mean yum. I'm gonna just have to drain the juice up. Ooh, juice. And I'm going to put bird. What? You get in there. Bird. Bird still froze. When I freeze these birds after I find them in the wild, I freeze them in salt water. So when they come out of their frozen state, frozen state, they are much more tender than if I were to otherwise just freeze them solid. I have a bird in here that I didn't do very good when I was being the trigger man. Careful. Careful. I got legs and in here. Good boy. We're gonna cancel this. This is what happens when things go bad. I filled this guy full of bird shot. So what he's gonna be is he's gonna be soup. Along with these legs. So we will cancel that. You jute. So, sous chef. Yes. Get the camera for a second. <laughs> no, no. Get back over here. Aww. We were supposed to talk and be no. exciting and entertaining. No. Okay. Pick an ingredient. I'll be right back. What ingredient you got? Liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. Put some, splash them in the, in the birds. Try some? Cool. A little bit of country water. And then pick an ingredient. What's that? Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Awesome. Oh yeah. What's the man? More, 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 more. Woo! Hey. Awesome. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Some salt. Salt. That was stuck to my fingers. Oh, yeah. Nope, none of them. Get down in behind him, birds. He's in the water. I mean, sorry, our brine. That was. Okay, okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? Brown sugar. Brown sugar! I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. That much. How much brown sugar? A third of a cup scooper. We're not gonna use a third of a cup, we're gonna use, how much of a third of a cup? Maybe three quarters of a third of a cup. Three quarters of a third of a cup, perfect. A little bit in here, a little bit in here. Okay, what else? Uh, that's it there. We need more. We need more. Pepper. Give me pepper. Okay. Pepper, 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 please. This is a very precise precision stuff. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, now we got 
that little concoction is going to sit overnight, soften up, get some of the salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit. What's that smell like? It's like beer in there, it doesn't even smell like smoke. Good job, but don't tell them how much because it's going to be still semi secret. Okay, cool. That was like 20 squirts. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Due to TV magic, this is going to be popping right in the smoker in the very next sequence. And we're back with our Brian Birdies. Do this, slop it all over the floor. Oh, Brian Birdies. Ooh. Give me a second. That. Yeah, four in the household, four for supper. Okay. Put those there for now. We have to make our paste. Stop. I need a paste brush. We're gonna start this all off with a little bit of honey mustard. Ooh, sorry, it doesn't even have a thing on. A bit of that much honey mustard. And this is going to be a little bit of, what is it? Smoked paprika. Ooh, I got it. More, 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 and on days like this, we like to make sure we minimize the proper amount of onion powder in this. Oh, this I mean, the dried onion powder that's sat in the cupboard too long. A little, a little sprinkle of crusty, clumpy onion powder. I think we'll stop. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. <laughs> just file that down there. I got a little salt in there. No, a lot. Just a little, a little bit. You'll never have a heart attack if you don't get a little salt in there. Okay. A little bit of that. What is that? Pepper. Pepper? Or is it? I can't remember that. Oh, easy. Oof. So spicy. What's that? Garlic powder. I'm going to do you a favor. It's getting me a spoon. Yep. Get about a half of one of them. Huh. Perfect. So we'll just mix our little concoction like this. But we still have to prep a bit. Oh, not yet, not yet. That comes next, later, after. You know what I want in there? Not that, not that. Where's the last one? I can't find this up in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, look. Little bit of what's that stuff? Liquid smoke. Ah, we want a super smoky. That's just a, help this nice little paste we're gonna make, which the mustard is going to act as a catalyst to allow all the seasonings and stuff. Oh, I don't know. Gotta make them stand up and pay attention. I'm gonna do that to all of them first. Ooh, poor guy. Broken. Broken too. All right, not, ooh, I should have done it with the first guy too. I will do that to the first guy. Oh, yeah. Ew, so tiny. Gotta give them a good, good paint. Back 
side. Get them on the back side. Bad bird. <laughs> All right, Mademoiselle sous chef, remove these. Okay. What about salt? The next secret ingredient is lawn clippings. So this is some twigs and roots and leaves that we found outside. <laughs> Ta what? Don't lie to yourself. I'm lying to them. Some more lie. Long clippings? I can say we found them outside because I did find them in the house. Fair enough. Mm. Oh man, I'm good at this game. Now, a little bit of hazel brush. Too long. See those short we got real quick? It's amazing. Clean all that up. And then I think bust in half, so we'll do that. Oh. And this here is another kind of root and stick and whatever. I'll put a little one on here. It's a little one. Well, you put a little, little, little one on that too, eh? Mm -hmm. right. we'll File that accordingly too. Oh yeah, now guess what? What? Put the wand clippings away. Tricky part, tricky. Oh, want to grab some toothpicks? How many? Let me just stick that in there. Come on, birdie. Now, that's the secret weapon right there. Is if it's not going to taste good, wrap it in bacon. I don't know what this is going to taste like because I've never done it. I'm kind of making stuff up as we go along. So if you want to wrap something in bacon, that will make it way more. Come on. I'm going to do that. That's pretty nice. That looks pretty. pretty. Somebody, somebody a leaf blower in there. Oh, I'm out of toothpicks. Hold that. And all right. Don't fall, don't fall. Now let's suck her down. Same spirit, okay? Okay. All right. I'm gonna come across a couple apples now. Apples more? Yeah. This is way messier than I thought it was gonna be. Stab him. Quick, quick, he's getting away. Oh, I'm slippery. You're slippery. I bet. Oh, that one's even better. Rip that apart like that. A little thing on there. Where's your jumping out? Yep. Now 
that will be an end result. <laughs> Not the end result. I got to put it in the in the smoker first. Ooh, fire! Man, cook with fire. Mm. Man sacrifice meat. These birds. Uh, you better run. You better run over there. Or you get back here. You'll end up right in there. Now we wait. Still waiting. Well, looks like we're getting close to done. Let's have a look at that thing. Ooh, the smoke is just starting to let up. All right, so what I'm looking for on that meat there is an internal temperature of 165. Everything right in line, you can eat it from rare, I'm doing that, to 165 internal temperature. I'm gonna aim a, on the side of caution so nobody gets a squishy belly, all that stuff. Man, look at my ears, my ears sticking out. <laughs> I'll stick out. <laughs> so yeah, what we're doing, waiting for 165 internal temp. And I'm almost there, so I'm gonna just put it on a plate and show you guys what this beautiful beast looks like. There we have it. My smoking ditch chicken. How it tastes, I don't know. We're gonna find out tonight for dinner. I'm gonna put the guinea pigs to the test and see what they think. Uh, I'm gonna do it with a side dish of a nice butternut squash done roasted with the butter, brown sugar, cinnamon sauce, and probably just some old smashed potatoes beside that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, spread this around. If you've come up with any unique ideas you want to share with me, go ahead and do it. This is the start of the Getting Any Gourmet. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Catch you later.